my, uh, with another BMG Drive mod time review. Today we'll be checking out three different mods. We're currently in one. This is a mod map that we're currently in. I forgot the name, so let me check on that one. But we'll also be checking out two mod cars. One that only comes with one mod. And the other one that comes with, I believe, 30 mods with it. But most of them are just the same, but with different transmissions and stuff put into it. So the first one is... Ah, uh, the Bullied. The speed star we'll be checking out today, and the second car we'll be checking out is a in-game version of a real-life car, and it's the where is it? Here we go, Hirochi here, Talent. That is a in-game version of the Honda Carrier, I believe, but I could be wrong. There's so many cake trucks out there that look the same. But I think it's the carrier that we're looking at here. As you can see, most of them are just, you know, Euro spec'd out or US spec'd out and stuff. But we'll be just checking out the base model, first base models, and then we'll be going down to, you know, these different ones here and stuff. But first, the map. This is... This is the Okiyama race truck. Can you see? It's pretty awesome. So we'll be checking out most of this map. We'll probably be driving around... Oop. Yeah, the full big course here, but there is also this section up here as well as this tiny course down here that we might be checking out as well sorry about the mouse and the lag but hey let's check out the first cars we'll start off with the K truck and then we'll slowly move over to the bull eyed let's do this on this one first generation This is the truck in question. <laughs> I like it quite a lot. There's a lot of detail to it. Ah, uh, yeah, I already know what else to say about it that much. I believe the engine's in the back. I don't think it's in the front. Interior, very good indeed. Manual transmission, has the radio. Has everything that I I haven't been in one of these in real life, but I believe these do have. I don't know what you can open up. Is it, it's not the front. Okay. Oh yeah, you can put these these things down as well to make a little flat bed. Yeah. So uh, so it is. Yeah, there we go, there's the engine. So it's, yeah, it's a four-cylinder inside it. That's a cool little mechanic there. Well, let's get to it and just drive around. Actually, I wonder if this car can... Can it get up here? Oh, it can. It cannot, never mind. Oh, at least it has a beeper for your reversing. Let's just go on a track and, uh, yeah, test this old girl out. I don't know how many gears this car actually has, so let's find out. It's a pretty fast mini truck. V8 
think there's a straightaway coming up, so we'll see what the top speed is. Can we reach 60 miles an hour? Think we can. Top speed we could get up to was 62. For a little car like, oh, for a little car like this, that's pretty fast. Well, I can't really see the road right now. This race course as well, I do like quite a lot. I would love to go to the real life one someday. I think we're nearly done. That was the finish line back that way. That's the pit lane to the right. Yeah, so we're, we're close. Oh, I wouldn't call that. Guess that could count as a drift. Got a crowd cheering us on. Can we make it with steering to the right for some reason? Oh, and we've made it. Oh, well, let's go on. We saw the gen Generation 1 model go around the track. Let's check out the rest. What is the... It's the Deluxe. There's the Country. Okay, we'll try out the Deluxe model. I don't know what's happening with my mouse right now. This, this thing looks weird. We might test that one out soon as well. I don't know what the Deluxe really has. New front end to it. Is the interior different? Deluxe model and it still has uh, manual wind up windows. I wouldn't really call that an upgrade, but hey. No, oh, it seems a bit slower this car we'll probably not go around the full track in this, we don't want this to be a lengthy video Oh, this one's gotten past. Oh, this one's a bit faster than I think it just takes a while for it to. I did. Oh. I tried to save it there. Didn't really work out that well, though. The 65 we got up to and it wasn't even on the straightaway. We'll probably crash around here. As always, every mod review always has a scene where I crash the car. I might do a head-on collision just here.
I don't think you're gonna survive that. Nah, your legs. Yeah, I don't think you're gonna survive that at all. You really do that much though. The car still looks like a truck. <laughs> now let's move on to some of the cooler ones, shall we? Like I said before, most of these are just, yeah, country or deluxe, but US versions to Europe versions, and some aren't manual. I think there's a more cooler version of that as well. It's like, yeah, country, custom, stylish. Don't know what that's all about. Here's the other two, though. Or well, we'll check out these two and then move on to... So what, these are all wheel drive versions, okay, got that. We'll check out what the, what the custom, yeah, stylish version is. Oh, it's all wheel drive, okay. Well, it's all wheel drive. I don't get what the stylish part is. I wonder if we can flip this car. I think it just slides quite a lot. Well. Huh. I guess you, it's a good vehicle to drift if you can modify it that way. I'll we'll go to the weird looking grill ones next. Hot dealer's special. Do a special one. Look at this. Oh, this one gets a little roof rack with it. Are these, like, based off a real car, this front end, on, like, one of these K trucks? Or is this just... Because I know that there are, like... Oh, this thing is it's loud and it's fast. I know that there are European cars that have that front grille bit to them, but I mean, like, in Japan... Is there any cars in real life with those front grill bits? The Bugatti style gr grill bit. Seventy one. Oh, wow, we're picking up speed in this bad boy. I go up to that speed again and see it go head first into a wall. Seventy nine. Four. 79 was the highest we could get up to with this car. Look at that damage. Am I stuck in this screen? Hello? BMG Drive? Well... Everything again, but let's get on with the rest of the mod review here. And, uh, yeah. So as I was saying, well, we got up to 72 or something. Then the game shat itself. 
But uh, let's check out these two last cage rocks and then uh, move on to Bull Eyed. Is there a V12 in this car? Ooh. I like this car quite a lot. Oh, the truck quite a lot. Oh, we're going fast. Maybe a bit too fast. I don't want to break the game again, so I'm not gonna, you know, go crashing into that wall. I might go into one of these wars here or something. Now yeah, side on collision or rear end collision. There we go. Alright, oh, killed the engine. Well, I think the last one we have here is the street tuned one. If I'm not mistaken, oh yes it is. The blue one with the wide body. We got the fender flares. Four engines in this bad boy. Ah, oh, it has a cool exhaust system, got that. There's probably a turbo in it or something. Oh, and this one has a sat nav in it. Okay. Got a little sat nav for the driver and passenger. What's this black bit that just came out? What's that? I don't know, something for the engine. I really thought it was going to crash there, but hey, let's move on to the last vehicle, shall we, guys? The uh, Speedstar Bull Eyed. This awesome thing. It's loud. Only the driver gets a windshield. And, uh, yeah, twin turboed. I like it quite a lot. It looks like a concept car from real life. Hold up, guys. As I was saying, it looks like a concept car from real life. Something from the 80s. Let's, uh, let's go and test this thing out. Basically, all this mod is, is just a chopped roof version. Can we slow down in time? We can. This thing likes to slide quite a lot.
I believe it is just a normal pool light. I don't think there's any, you know, was it modifications to the engine? It's just a bit more sleek hole. No roof. Well, no, we'll do one last lap around this insane map. Or not, okay, the car. Epic moments with the bull I decided to, you know, crash. Anyway, sorry for the mishap of the game crashing in the slow motion. And, uh, as always, I'll see you all next time for the next mod review. And have an awesome day and peace out.